All right, what's up guys? I'm uh, gonna get this thing uh, open up here pretty soon. Gonna open up using my trusty Leatherman sidekick here. Not the fans, just Leatherman, but Leatherman's you know, another good local local Oregon company. We're here in the Pacific Northwest, up in Portland. Thank, thank you to Tim Leatherman for start inventing the Leatherman multi-tool. Their first, uh, their first order, or big order, came from Cabela's. They ordered 500 of their PSTs that were the personal survival tools. And now, rest history. Now they're a global brand, but they still make them all right there in their Portland, Oregon factory. I had the privilege of touring their factory back for a homeschool project. Now let's get this thing opened up. That was a few years ago. So... As you can see, guys, I already took off the tape there, so I actually don't even really need the knife right now. So, did that in a previous take that wasn't very good. So I decided to retake it, but I don't actually need the knife, but it's fun to have it in there. So basically, just open it up here, come in this nice little tube. Boop, open it up. And, just wrap that nice before. Comes in this nice bubble wrap. I'm gonna pull it on out. It's a six foot rod. And we'll explain a bit more of the model here. If I can get it out without causing a disaster. So here we go. Let's unwrap it up. And ain't she pretty. This is a Saniam fishing rod. It's a SFS 601J. It's a six foot. It's got extra fast action. Medium. Uh doesn't say right here, but I read the stat. It's a medium light uh, power. They generally recommend a line weight of six to ten pounds, or a lower weight of one point four or one fourth to or to full ounce. It's handcrafted in the USA. That means it's either done at their Turner factory or their factory over in in Tillamook. So nice. It's a good looking rod. Looking forward to taking it out. It's got seven, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, seven, eye, uh, seven eyes. Got a nice tip. It's got an extra long handle. It's a jigging rod meant for trout or kokanee. An extra long handle makes it easier to jig, especially if you're just going off the side of some of the V-bottom boats. A lot of people fish with uh, in a lot of the lakes up there in Oregon and Washington and up in the Northwest. But uh, so going to school here in Florida, so I'm going to see if it's going to be good for jigging for crappie or for bass or catfish. Generally, probably won't be jigging for catfish, but see if we can use it for catfish as well. So basically taking this rod and using it for not exactly what it's designed for, but we'll see if we can, can't, we'll see if this uh, trout and coking rod works good for bass. Uh, that's till we get back to Oregon. Then we will see if we can use this rod back in its home waters for what it was designed for. All right, that's about all I have for you guys in this video. Uh, looking forward to seeing you next time out on the water. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, we're going to be putting this uh, Katana C3000 HG uh, spinning reel on the uh, on that fishing pole we just got, the SFS uh, 601J uh, spinning rod. And I know this ain't the, this isn't the fanciest uh, reel from Shimano. Shimano reels can get up there pretty pricey. We've got this one on sale. I actually got it for... Uh, Pretty good deal, I think, for a small and a real $29.98. Got down at the academy. Going to school here in Florida. So not the most expensive reel, but Shimano is a good company. So hopefully this reel works out really well. We'll give a review of the reel as well here on our on the next video. So can't always get all the fancy stuff that you like, but you no, know, sometimes you just gotta get something that works and works, you know, that works well. And to make the best do with what you have don't always need all the all the fancy stuff and that is a pretty fancy rod we got but well it's nice to get a couple of nice things but you know just use just use what you have available all right see y'all in the next video uh, what's up youtube it's johnny coho here welcome to the uh johnny coho florida vacation on the way to head out fishing right now with uh with florida man and we'll see if uh see if beaver state boy can can outfish florida man in his home waters of florida so we'll see got me my sandy am SFS 601J, a uh, six foot kokanee trout jigging rod, which definitely wasn't made for these Florida waters, but we'll see if it can get the job done here in Florida today. All right.
we'll be see you back on the out in the water and we'll still let you know how it goes there's a gazebo there and there's a bridge that goes across the bay from florida here to alabama over the other side Dito bay over here with florida man florida man you want to say hi what's up man how's it going all right yep that's florida man he's going barefoot uh so we can do some uh catfish noodling with his toes there Hey, what's up guys? Just to show you what we rig here. We got a really big uh, Eagle Claw bait holder snell hook here on here. It's uh, attached to a saltwater style rig. And then I just had a snap on there just because that was quick. Had a little egg sinker hold it down. A little split shot up above to keep it from sliding too far. Just a really simple rig. Uh, something you can put together pretty cheap. It's good for everybody. Because we're not just trying to show you all, all the fancy stuff. We're also trying to show some stuff that's, you know, bit more budget friendly rod did really good today we had some good bites but you know i just couldn't quite get them today so i'm gonna back head over to florida man and uh we'll get going here beautiful sunshine so, uh, again ready for sunset almost here on perdido perdido bay and see you all next time all right so we're uh arm caden florida man and i are just leaving west pcc west campus on day one on part one of our florida fishing adventure and we just see a nice big old heron out there. Going to just drive by and let him do its thing. All right. See you, everybody. Fish on. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm uh, just here with Florida Man, and we just got done for the day fishing out there on uh, Perdido, uh, Perdido Bay, Perdido River. And uh, not the best of luck today, but uh, that's okay. We'll send you some cool pictures of some stuff we caught before to make it look like we caught stuff today. <laughs> and, well, have anything to say, Florida man, or are we all good? Not really. Not really. I appreciate you. You know, you yep. going fishing with me today, and yep. had so, a lot of fun. Awesome. So you guys, be sure to stop by uh, the Florida man uh, fishing 22, and also be sure to like, share, and subscribe on his channel and on mine as well uh, at Northwest Rods and Views. See you later. Hey, what's up, y'all? I uh, just want to let you know who I thought about uh, the fishing rod used in today's video. Once again, this was the SFS 601J, made it over by Jay Kendrick, his company, Sanyam Fishing Rods or Sanyam Fishing Products, over in Turner, Oregon. Really nice, small rod maker, make them handcrafted in the USA. So, sure to stop by his website and pick up one of the cool travel rods, especially, which is really good. I don't even have one of those, but I'm looking forward to getting one of those sometime soon. And big thank you to Florida Man over at Florida Man 22 on Instagram. Be sure to go uh, follow him on Instagram. Give him, a th give him a heart and let him know that how happy we are that he let us let me come out fishing with him today. And yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe at Northwest Rods and Reviews here on YouTube. And don't forget to press that bell button to get regular updates so you always know when we post a new video. All right, if you guys have anything else they'd like me to, to do in the next video, just leave it in the comments and we'll see if we can do it. And use one of your suggestions in the next video. Hey, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, wherever you are and happy fishing.